uh, hello there. Uh, uh, something tells me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I have to teach now. Sorry, I was just cultivating circles in my factory. So, uh, anyway, today, I guess, is already the review for court. Didn't expect it to come so early. So, anyway, we remember what chords are. That line that goes through a circle. However, there were some theorems about it that I want to review. So, first of all, if you have the perpendicular bisector of... If you have the perpendicular bisector of a chord, then it's always going to run through the center of the circle. Secondly... If you have, uh, that's a very fat and bloated circle. If you have two parallel chords, then the arcs that they intersect will also be equal. Then, if you have mm, two chords that are already congruent to each other, then the arcs that they form or intersect rather will be congruent too. So now we have two more to go. First of all, this was one that we did interview, didn't introduce in the non-review or the regular lesson. This one states that if we have a core or a diameter rather, that diameter is always going to be perpendic uh, perpendicular to a line of tangency. So if we have the diameter over here, then we can make a perpendicular line of tangency. If you remember from our circle review, a line of tangency is a place where a uh, it's a line that uh, intersects a circle at one point. And finally, if you have two points tangency and then or two point the end of a diameter and then one external point then the distances here will always be similar or congruent rather all right thank you everybody for watching i really need to go back to cultivating my circle plant because uh next lesson is obviously going to be circle heavy so thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next